I'm going to be doing a reading about ancient Egypt. Lots of people that have lived in ancient Egypt have chosen to reincarnate during this time specifically. And I've been meeting a lot of people that I've had lives with in ancient Egypt. And I know that there's lots of people out there as well. So I'm going to do a reading right now to see if there's any messages we should know. Like why we chose to incarnate here at this specific time. So all of these cards just fell out. And I know some tarot readers are like, oh no, that's too many. Well, I don't believe in that. It is what it is. So the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups in reverse. This does show a change, but I'm not getting changes in like a transition. I'm getting changes in like a currency. The Three of Pentacles and the Moon in reverse. Right now we are in lacking times and lots of souls that have lived in ancient Egypt understand the abundance flow and they understand that we don't work for money and that money works for us. And so lots of people from Egypt have been assigned this lifetime in particularly to help influence the economic system because we have this mentality ingrained within us. We are the high priestesses. But we are showing up in reverse right now, so this does show that this is not the currency of the world right now, but this is in the making. This is in manifestation mode. I also see the moon in reverse. See what that's about. And I also see... So I see the moon, the wheel of fortune, and the magician. So I'm hearing life path. Both of these kind of represent different life paths you can take. And then this represents divine timing. Um, I'm hearing something about a masculine. Lots of people in ancient Egypt carried masculine energy, even if they were women. I'm hearing saving grace. So Source sent a lot of souls that have lived in this time to reincarnate during this time to help once again. And I'm also getting something about multidimensionality. Lots of us are not only living in this lifetime right now, but we're... This is also talking about multidimensionality, how lots of us do not only exist in this reality right now. We exist in millions and billions of different realities. And I'm hearing past tense. So this is, for some reason, wanting to take me back in time. So this is wanting to take me back to ancient Egypt. Something did happen here. Something similar is happening now to what happened then. Lots of people, lots of the same souls were involved. Something is also in the process of being cut out in this reality which is money. We are in the process of cutting out money. All of our exchanges are energetic. I see the Emperor, the King of Pentacles. So these are very, very similar times. Things are about to crumble right now, just as they did in ancient Egypt. A lot, many of us had lifetimes right before ancient Egypt fell. And the same thing is happening now. You see this? This is supposed to represent grounded energy, but both of these cards, if you look closely at their faces, they both look very fearful. So it's like they know that there's some sort of end that's about to happen, and that's why Spirit sent the warriors here, was for the final times. And it's almost time. The moon showed up in reverse right before this, which shows that it's almost time. And right now, lots of us are waking up and we're not ready yet, but we will be. Give us like, give us like six years. Lots of us will be way more on it. Lots of us will, lots of us are going through periods right now. Lots of us are going through very painful transitions right now. And we're losing our sense of self. We are going through, we're being, lots of us are being tested right now and we're not quite ready. Lots of us still have some transitions to make before we can bring in this new world order. But it's happening. We're on the, 
We're on the light team. This specific, these people that have incarnated specifically in Egypt and that are here now, we are all meant to bring in a specific detail into this world. We all have different pieces to the puzzle and that's why we all need to connect to put the puzzle together. And we are going to be doing so in the future, but it's going to take a little bit of time. But um, Soul Team, we're all here. We're just going through our life lessons right now. And once we all get through um, these certain obstacles, because we're right now these are trial periods. I'm sorry to say it, but lots of us will die as well. Because we won't be able to make it through this trial period. But those that come out will be will be on top and they will be guiding others. Lots of us will be healing many people in this lifetime with our, we have certain things that are just programmed into us that we don't even realize and we're going to be spreading this to people and changing people's lives. We're going to be changing this whole earth as a whole. And I'm also getting a message specifically, play more music. Music and sound, it's a very strong, that's one of the most influential ways to get across to people is by way of music and sound. So make more music. We need to be making more positive vibrations because there are lots of negative vibrations being blasted out throughout society right now. And that's why lots of people are in negative vibrations is because they're listening to rap and they're listening to all of these negative tones. So Source is really saying lots of us have musical gifts that they want us to put out there. Do you, know, do you notice how lots of music right now is just being regurgitated? And it just sounds like shit. It's time to make some new music. So if you'd like to receive free daily tarot messages, feel free to visit my website. And if you'd like to book a personal reading or enroll in one of my classes, feel free to visit my website as well. Remember who we are.